I started my research group in September of uh, this year, and my group focuses on building computational tools and machine learning frameworks that at massive scale allow for cancer imaging data to first be contextualized in the oncology clinic to improve patient outcomes, and then second, leverage at the wet lab bench to augment drug discovery efforts. I also have a focus on developing computational and statistical methods for handling high throughput omics data, such as single cell transcriptomics and spatial transcriptomics, such as the 10X Visium and Chromium platforms, uh, as well as spatial proteomics. The first sort of projects that we're embarking on uh, with a lot of data collaboration with the National Cancer Institute are uh, looking at building a petabyte scale cancer imaging search engine that can work on uh, H&E data as well as newer modalities such as these spatially resolved imaging uh, that have geno spatial, spatially resolved genomics and imaging data sets. And the idea is that these will help improve patient care by help using artificial intelligence to help uh, clinicians at the bedside, as well as improving drug discovery efforts. So I'm teaching uh, a graduate bioinformatics course, uh, which will be uh, sort of a focus track for masters and PhD students in the next couple of years. And the focus of this course is to provide uh, so right now there's an explosion uh, of jobs in artificial intelligence and genomics and medicine. Google just started Alphabet, Google's parent company, just started a brand new parent company. Uh, I think Isomorphic Labs a few weeks ago. So there's huge opportunities here. So the course teaches uh, our graduate students real world skills, uh, looking at the intersection of deep learning uh, and uh, imaging and genomic data that are used in real world drug discovery applications. So I'm currently recruiting uh, undergraduate students who want to do independent studies, uh, master's stu students who I'm only recruiting on the thesis track, and PhD students who I have fully funded uh, GRA and GTA positions available for. So the research that I work on is very expensive and it requires a lot of state-of-the-art high memory GPU models. Uh, and each of the GPU models that we cards that we use in a GPU cluster cost about as much as a small car. Uh, wow. So we're building a GP uh, a small GPU supercomputer with eight of these uh, cards here at UTA to facilitate this research. And uh, the grants that the state of Texas offers new faculty are unparalleled by any other uh, university system in the world. Uh, so having these types of resources to build uh, a supercomputer as well as hire PhD students and postdocs is incredible. I would say to send me an email or to either take my class or set, which there'll be lots of pro small projects to see if uh, a student is interested in this type of work or to send me an email to see if you want to try doing research for a semester.